Hello there. Uh, for reference, this is a project that I'm trying to debug where uh, we are trying to get uh, Vehicle Physics uh, 2 working with Destroy It. And uh, I think it's, yeah, NWH Vehicle Physics 2 working with Destroy It so that we can drive a car into some destructible objects and get them to, um, you know, take damage and destroy effectively. So the first thing is, is I've loaded the scene up here, and I noticed uh, upon loading it, there are a bunch of um, uh, a bunch of warnings, and so these are all line inconsistencies. I'm not too worried about these, but this is one of the first things I look at. And uh, in this video, I'm just going to kind of go over all of the troubleshooting stuff that I do to try to get these things to work, and you you know you can just kind of follow along, and um, you know do these on your own project. So I don't see anything in here that's really um, bad. Uh, th these all just look like regular warnings, but that's the first thing I look at is there, you know, sometimes these things might tell me something that would be causing it not to work. So anyway, that's fine. So let's just uh, run the scene, see what happens. All right. Oh, one thing I noticed right off the bat is we've got some console errors. So I'm just going to go ahead and stop. And let's see what this is. Okay, object pool script not found in the scene. This is required for destroy to work. And that's related. Index is out of bounds. So okay, this is a pretty critical thing here. This is, you know, destroy is not going to work at all if, if it can't find the object pool. Um, so that tells me that it probably hasn't been initialized or set up with a minimal setup. So I'm just going to uh, going to go ahead and check actually real quick to see if there's a destroy it in the scene anywhere. I don't think it would be on one of these objects. Maybe an environment. No, I'm not even seeing, I'm not seeing destroy it anywhere. So I'm just going to go ahead and assume that that hasn't been done and say destroy it uh, from the window menu, destroy it, set up minimal. And that's going to give us these objects it has the destruction manager and all the scripts for destroy it to work, including that object pool that it was complaining about. And then this input test we don't need. That's just for demo purposes. So I'm just going to delete that. And then I'm just going to try again. <coughs> okay, cool. No errors. Okay, so the car started up and it looked like as soon as it hit something that then there was no camera rendering. So I'm going to rule out destroy it even being part of this. Okay, so as soon as we hit any object, the camera is not rendering. So let me go look at the camera. and. What I'm going to do for that is start the scene up again and then go into the scene view. And then I'm going to try to find where my car is. Mm. Sports car. Hit F to go there. Okay, so let's see. Look at the sports car. There's the camera right behind it click on the camera and let's see where this is at. So the camera is here and that's under the sports car. Okay, camera looks okay, but let's look at the sports car. Okay, so I think I see what's happening here. This sports car has a destructible script on it with a hundred hit points. So that means that when the sports car, if it has a rigid body on it, which it does, when it hits something, then destroy it is going to cause this car to take damage, which is probably going to take a lot of damage, and it destroys the car. And when it destroys the car, it destroys the camera. So there's no camera rendering. So for now, I'm just going to, um, I'm just going to remove that destructible script and let's just focus on getting the um, getting the car to destroy dis other destructible objects, not itself. You know, just um, try to reduce the number of things we're working on. So for now, I'm just going to go to the sports car 
and I'm just going to remove this destructible script. Let's see what it does now. <clears throat> we shouldn't lose our camera now. So since there's no destructible script on this wall, then that's a problem. Let's see. The sword and the stone in front of it. Yes, there is a destructible script there, and it has 100 hit points. Okay. So I think the problem with the wall not being destroyed is it doesn't have a destructible script. So I'm just going to go ahead and add that. And give it some hit points. And, okay, let's try it again. Go to the scene. Okay, so it's not taking any damage. Okay, so the question now is what's different between the wall and the sword and the stone? The sword and the stone's taking damage. Okay, it has a rigid body, and this one does not. Okay, so we need to add a kinematic rigid body to this one. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Rigid body. I'm not really sure how much mass I should put on it because I'm not really sure how much the NWH vehicle physics like what its mass scale is so I'm not going to worry about that right now just kind of leave it default and now let's see what happens <laughs> Okay, so it is destroying the wall now, um, but the effect, you know, obviously didn't look good on the wall. It just kind of pops. And now as far as what happened to the car, that's probably going to be the rigid, uh, the, the debris pieces may have had too much mass. So we'll, uh, we'll address that in here in a little while. So for the wall, uh, I'm going to make a destroyed prefab, or I'm going to assign a destroyed prefab. And I don't remember what it's called. Uh, I think this is it. Solid wall destroyed. Okay. So that should look a little bit better now. Our physics may still be a little wonky. So it destroyed into a particle effect again. I think I know why. It doesn't have enough hit points and it was getting obliterated. So it, it's taking way too much damage. So we'll turn this off so that it will always uh, destroy over into the uh, debris pieces. Let's try that again. Okay, much better. see what's going on with that um, got a rigid body oh it has a really high mass uh, let's turn that down a lot lower just so that it doesn't affect the car much I'm gonna put that at like I don't know point one just to make sure pieces actually so let's go look at that so the sword and the stone debris pieces where is that at okay the destroyed rock let's open this up and okay 
collider on that. Okay, so that's just the bottom piece that holds it. Hmm. See, that doesn't have a rigid body. You know, I think I might would actually remove this because this is putting essentially a, not a static collider, but a collider with no rigid body just into the scene that anything could hit and it would be kind of weird. So, yeah, I, I kind of hesitate to put that in the scene, especially like in a driving game, because this debris piece will not be able to move anywhere. It's I think it's intended for this to be under the ground. Um... So yeah, I think I would actually, I think I would just remove the collider on this one. And then these pieces, you know, the mass might be a little bit too high. I'm not sure. Um, I might would lower this a little bit for this particular, you know, driving. So I'm going to save the changes and let's try this again. still be hitting some of these larger debris pieces in the wall and if they have a high amount of mass then it'll fling the car around uh, so I'm gonna look at that one now the solid wall destroyed let's open that one up let's look at these pieces okay it is a little bit higher mass so I'm gonna just go for every one of these pieces and I'm just holding down control and selecting the ones I want. Okay, so for all of these pieces, I'm gonna put it really low, maybe 0.2 um, is the mass. So I mainly, you know, I'm thinking that this, the wall, the car will run into this and we don't really want it to send the car flying or something like that. We really want it to mainly, the car will push the debris pieces around is what I'm thinking. Uh, you'd have to change this to however you really want it to behave. But I'm just trying to make what looks best as I understand it, the desired effect. Okay. Yeah, if you saw there, it looked like the car actually kind of hit and then it pushed the debris pieces around. They flung all over the place instead of flinging the car all over the place. Let me try that one more time. Okay, so, uh, so as not to make this video run very long, I'm going to go ahead and cut it off here. So what we've done is we've basically taken the car, uh, fixed a, a several of the problems uh, with getting it to work with Destroy It. Uh, made it destroy some destructible objects and then the next thing we would probably want to look at is how to make the car you know destroy it itself and to do that what one thing we'd have to do is maybe redesign the way this system is with the camera being underneath the car if we want the car to be destroyed we might would have to like detach the camera you know on destruction or something like that but we'd have to really think about well wh what happens to the player when the car is destroyed if the car really is the player and that's it's kind of like destroying the first person shooter in a first person shooter game you know what happens when you destroy them well usually you go to a load menu or something like that you change the camera but anyway uh, i'm going to go ahead and cut it off here uh, hope this helped thanks <laughs>